What's up guys, I'm CEO Foxtrot with another Red Dead Online video and ever since I uploaded the video, OMG, best horse hiding in plain sight, I'm constantly being asked about the saddle that I have on my horse. So today I'll be covering the special collector saddle, which is in my opinion the best looking saddle in Red Dead Online. Yeah, I'm sure if you pulled up with this saddle as an outlaw or a bounty hunter, you'd be laughed straight out of town or maybe even hung. So of course I always say that players should choose a saddle to fit their own specific needs. But if you guys know me, I'm not one to be buying the absolute most expensive saddle available just so I can get to my destination a few seconds faster. I play the trader and collector's role, so I have no need to rush through the game like a mad psycho. No offense to you mad psychos. But anyway, let's take a much closer look at the collector's saddle, which is called the McKinney saddle, and it can only be unlocked through the collector's role. The good thing is that the McKinney saddle can be unlocked within the first few rank levels as part of the collector's novice kit, although the saddle is a bit expensive as I'll get to that later in the video. You might notice that it says collector rank 20 here above the saddle, but that's only because I'm currently rank 20 as a collector. Now in this extreme close up, this front lantern is an add-on item which I'll show you later, but this fully loaded saddle features a canteen, a collector's pouch, a premium map holder, custom stirrups, a drinking water dipper, custom collector saddle bag, and a couple of bed rolls up top. And the other side features a second custom collector saddle bag, a frying pan for cooking on the go, a valuables chest, and a collector's tool pouch that contains a pair of scissor forceps, a wrench, a screwdriver, and a magnifying glass. Now as I mentioned, if you want to purchase this saddle, you must first unlock the novice kit from the collector's roll. Then go to a stable and choose horses. Then scroll down and choose tack and services. Then choose saddles. I already have the McKinney saddle, but you would scroll down and choose add saddle. Then scroll down and choose McKinney Saddle. Okay, here you can see that it's a hefty $525, but it's a really decent saddle for that price. Or you can cough up 14 bars of gold, which I never spend gold if there's a cash option available. Now, once you own a McKinney Saddle, you can go back and add a few custom features by choosing Horses. Scroll down and choose Tack and Services. Choose saddles, then choose your McKinney saddle which will take you into the saddle accessories. Now choose saddle bags, then choose standard saddle bags to see what's available. Looks like we have a stock saddle bag, which you can choose up to 25 different styles and colors. And we have the weathered saddle bag, where you can choose from 5 weathered options. Or go back and scroll down and choose upgraded saddle bags, which are a bit more pricier, but I believe they hold more items. Now here's the upgraded saddle bag with 25 style options. And the upgraded weathered saddle bag with 5 weathered style options. Then there's the collector saddle bag, which is the one that I own. You can purchase this bag directly from Madame Nazar herself for 15 gold bars. And I heard she'll waive the gold bars if you find all the hidden playing card locations. Now what's really special about this bag is not only does it complement the heck out of the collector saddle, it also allows you to store 7 outfits on your horse instead of the normal 5. But let's go back to saddle accessories, scroll down and choose stirrups. Now you can see that there are several different custom stirrups available including the bell stirrup which is the one I own. And of course the more expensive stirrups will slightly increase your horse's speed and acceleration or decrease your horse's stamina drain rate. But again, I'm not fighting for every millisecond of speed possible, so I chose to go with the still high quality bell stirrup that best complemented the collector saddle and the collector saddle bag. Now let's go back to saddle accessories, scroll down, and choose lanterns. I felt like this night lantern was an absolute must have to accompany the collector saddle. But to get this lantern, you must be ranked 10 in the collector's role to unlock it, and once unlocked, it'll cost $350 or 14 gold bars. And be careful because you gotta buy one lantern per each individual saddle.
Oh, and I should probably also mention that once unlocked, the collector saddle can also be purchased directly from the catalog by going over and down and choosing workwear and trades, choose collector, turn three pages, go over to McKinney saddle and choose the buy button. Again, the collector saddle will cost you $525 or 14 gold bars. All right, I got to go find Madame Nazar, and I think Crips is waiting on me. Hmm, maybe I should do my next video on role playing, slow some of you guys down. Let me know in the comments. Come on, Big Scout, we got things to do. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If this video helped you out at all, make sure you subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that bell to receive alerts.